So, um, I'm being asked a lot, and actually I have been asked a lot, um, how it is I got started in chemistry. What was it that inspired me? Do I have any books that I can suggest? Do I have any recommendations on how to start? Uh, and um, I always try to answer questions with uh, a proper answer. I, you know, think about them and give a, an answer that I think is right and truthful and, and correct. But the truth is, I don't really remember how I started in this stuff. I, I can't remember what books I read that sort of got me kicked off into it. But I did give it a lot of thought, trying to think, how was it that I got started in this field? How was it I did this? And after a lot of reflection, actually, about it, I came to the decision, or the realisation, that I never did get started. Now, actually, I think that um, looking at something, for example, chemistry, and, and working it and being interested in it, is not a product of the subject in itself. I don't think chemistry is what gets you interested. I think it's a vehicle for your interest. I think what it is, is you start off being interested in something. And when you have an interest in the world generally, you express that interest in, in some vehicle. Now, I think the vehicle I've expressed it in is chemistry. Uh, why? Probably because I like my chemistry teacher, uh, some random event happened that pushed me down that line, and then because I was, if you like, naturally inquisitive, it just continued down that line and developed. So, as a vehicle for expressing interest, chemistry is the one that I use. I don't think it matters. I think they're all as good as each other. I, I think it doesn't matter if you express yourself in uh, music, or in art, or in chemistry, or in literature. I don't think it really matters. I think if you have that inherent interest in your world, you will just stumble across a vehicle in which you express that interest, and that will send you down a path as you develop. But I don't think you're developing the interest in the subject matter. I think you have an inherent interest in the world and its exploration. And you use that subject matter as a vehicle for exploring that inherent interest. Now, as part of that, of course, you just ask questions. Uh, you, you read everything, really. You pick up random books, you have a read, some interest you, some don't interest you. And it's not something you can force the development of. It's just something you have. Now, I don't think that's particularly special. I personally think that every single child is born with an interest in their world. I think those uh, kids, and that's every kid in the world, wants to explore its world, and does so. I think what happens to a greater degree is somehow that inherent desire to explore is lost. Uh, and once that ex uh, a desire to explore is lost, it's difficult to get it back. But if you don't lose that desire to explore, you will just stumble across the vehicle that suits you. Once you've got that vehicle that suits you, you will just explore it and find the things that you need to find. Now, that's the sort of way that I think about these things. So, it's not really, to my mind, a question of how did you get started in chemistry. It's more, how is it that people stop being interested in the world? Because in my view, people already are born that way, and something must happen to them to stop them being interested, to stop them exploring and developing and finding a vehicle for that interest. Incidentally, I'm clearly smoking a cigarette. Please don't write to me telling me to stop, because I'm clearly not going to. Don't bother pointing out the health detriments either, because I clearly understand those. I've just made a choice. Now, I've made a choice to smoke in the same way that I make a choice about everything. You can't get a coin with only one side. You get a coin with both sides. My decision to do something like that is the same as my decision to explore the world or to take up chemistry. It's all part of the same process that you just can't get one side off. Now, if we're looking at how is it that you don't lose that inherent interest to explore things, which is what I think is um, really important and at the ground, of doing something like chemistry or anything else, remember, it's only as good as anything else, it doesn't matter what it is, then that is the issue to look at. How that happens, I don't know. I, I suggest you reflect on it and have a think about that. If, if you find that you've got down a path of where you're no longer interested in the world and you don't really want to explore it, perhaps you should be asking yourself why that's the case. If you can resolve those issues, then you'll just find a vehicle. It may or may not be chemistry. It doesn't really matter. 
If it is chemistry, you're going to find the books that you want to read. Just as you explore your interest in the world using chemistry as a vehicle for that interest. Anyway, I've been asked this a lot of times and I, and I wanted to give an answer. And I thought the answer was far too long to be writing and I would hold from a lot of people to write to. So I thought I'd make this video and I hope it was of interest to you and thank you very much for watching.